Do you know everything there is to know about Google and how it affects your website? <laughs> Tom Bruce here from Big Sky Internet Design coming to you from our worldwide headquarters here in lovely Bryan, Texas. And today we're doing Google 101, uh, starting a series, today's day one. And the thing we're going to be talking about today is kind of how Google works and then how that can apply to your website in a broad term. So let's think about that for a second. You go to Google and you, and you type in horses for sale. What are you going to get? Well, you're going to get a bunch of different websites, very broad search term, probably some horse classified sites and that type of thing. But that's probably not going to help you narrow down what you're looking for very much. So the next thing you type in is two year old horses for sale. And what do you get? Well, you're going to get a little bit more narrowed down results, probably some two year old horses for sale, but they could be anything, any kind of horse. And then you narrow it down a little bit more and you say, well, how about two-year-old snaffle bit horses for sale? Or maybe two-year-old cutting prospects for sale? These types of things. And what are you going to get then? Well, now all of a sudden you're going to be getting results that matter to you. And you can probably click on some of those links. They're going to take you to some websites that probably have some of those types of horses that you're looking for. Then, of course, you can always add the near me or the city that you live in. And that will help narrow it down even further. So, as a website owner, this is what you need to be thinking about. You need to be thinking about what people are going to be typing into Google to find you. And that's what it really boils down to. It's as simple as that. So, let's look at Google and what it does. How does it figure it out? Well, so you publish your website to the Internet, and Google will find it and send out its bots, Google bots. Uh, actually, if you look at your tracking on your website, you can see how often the Google bots hit your, hit your uh, website and other search engines do the same. And they take all the information on your website that they can link, you know, from all the link pages. And then they uh, index that and store it all at Google. And then the idea is that someone types in a phrase that matches what Google has indexed from your work, from your website, then you have a pretty good chance of coming up in Google's listings. And that's, of course, what you're after. So what it boils down to is you have to have that content. The content is key. Absolutely. So you have to be careful, though. Back in the day, you know, web designers and people would try to scam Google, spam Google, and they'd, you know, do two-year-old cutting horse prospects for sale maybe 15 times on the same page. And back then, Google wasn't very sophisticated and say, oh, well, this must really have a lot of these types of horses. Well, now, if you tried anything similar to that, you're going to get blacklisted and you won't come up on Google searches at all. So you have to be careful about how you do it. And you want to do it in such a way that not only does it you know, Google, it helps with Google, but also for your site visitors as well. So that's pretty much it for today's Google 101. Uh, next week, we're going to be talking more about how that information is presented on your website, how Google and your site visitors will appreciate how you organize that. Well, Tom Bruce, signing off. Uh, hopefully this was some useful information. Remember, content is key. Absolutely have to have that content on there. And uh, look forward to talking to you next week. Let us know here at Big Sky if there's anything we can do to help you with your website. Be happy to do it. Thanks much.